Hello everybody, this is my first YouTube video ever, and I'm sorry that my camera is not on, but I'm waiting for my green screen to come in the mail, and it will be here before the launch of FIFA. But I'm here to show you the top 100 ratings that were released by EA this morning. So we're going to get right into it. We are starting at the strikers, left and right wingers. So first off, the last guy, rank 100, is Holland. Definitely deserved the upgrade. He had an amazing year. And, yeah. So, basically, I'm not going to show every single guy. I'm not going to talk about every single guy. I'm going to talk about what guys I think will be good this FIFA. Yes. And they're going to be good at the beginning of the year. But, yes, they're going to be extremely expensive. And then at the top here, we have Timo Werner. Just transferred to Chelsea. A little bit of a downgrade. But... He is going to be a complete stud with 91 pace, 85 shooting. He is going to be a tank to defend. He's going to be hard to defend, no doubt in my mind. Let's scroll on to the first page. So we have Mares, 85. Jamie Vardy, though, right here. He got a plus, I think it's a plus two or three. Might be even a f plus four upgrade on Jamie Vardy. Him and Tino Werner are going to be insane they're going to be the best duo in the Prem all year long. Griezmann got a little bit of a downgrade. Suarez, downgrade. But he does have, he'd be good, but he's just slow. But the rumors are people are playing the game right now, and they're saying that headers are OP. So Suarez might just be meta, but no one will know until October 6th. We have a Bamyang that also got downgraded, but also still is a beast of a card at 93 pace, 86 shooting. He's still going to be good. Even with his downgrade, he's still going to be super expensive, and he's still going to be one of the best strikers in the Prem. No doubt in my mind. We have Sterling, stayed at the same rating. Hazard, 88. I didn't really use Hazard that much last year. I didn't, I didn't really care for him that much. He was still pretty good, but... He just wasn't my cup of tea. Harry Kane, once again, kind of just like the Suarez thing. If crossing is meta, Harry Kane will be good. Downfall, he does have 68 pace. We have Aguero at 89 overall, but 78 pace. I feel like he'd be playing great as a cam. Then we have Mane, 90 overall. Going to be an absolute stud. Salah, 90 overall. But Mbappe, 90 overall, 96 pace, 86 shooting. If this, if these two stats are correct right here, this he will be the best striker in the entire game for a long time. Then we scroll up. Obviously, you have Neymar. Neymar is good in every FIFA, 91 overall. Lewandowski, 91 overall. He's just like the other two I talked about. If cross, if crossings meta, you want Lewandowski in front of the net, 100%. Then you have Cristiano Ronaldo at 92. And then in my opinion, the best player in FIFA between Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi. I feel like this is Messi's year. And Messi's going to be an amazing card this year. 100%. Dude, I just... Now we are on to the midfielders. All of them. Left, right, mid, center, mid, center defensive. And cams. We have Erickson, 85 overall. But, like I said before, I'm going to tell you what guys are going to be good this year, in my opinion. Frankie de Jong, always a solid midfielder for the past two years. Then we have Marcus Rashford right here. This is the guy I really wanted to talk about. 85 overall, 91 pace, 83 shooting. But what's important about his card is that last year he had a three-star weak foot, and now he has a four-star weak foot. And that is going to be the key of him being a way better card than last year. Scrolling up from here, we just have we have Kai Havertz, actually. Kai Havertz, 85 overall, just transferred to Chelsea. He's going to be an amazing cam. I'm, uh, he's going to be in my starting 11 for sure. 100%, if I can afford him, he will be my cam for my starting 11 at the beginning of the year. Let's go on to the first page. We have Silva, 
Henderson is an 86 now, which kind of sucks because he is a walkout. But overall, good for him. Plays for Liverpool. Got the upgrade. We have Paul Pogba. Sad to see. He got a downgrade. Because, you know, I love my Man United. And I love the French team. Um, son, you, you get the basics. 87 overall. He was good in the last two FIFAs. 90% of the sure he's going to be good this year. But he's going to be expensive for four to five months. Guaranteed. Sancho, 87 overall. I can't believe they gave him 83 pace. Makes no sense to me. I, ho I hope it's not true. I hope this stat is like a false stat, but we can only hope, right? And then we have Fernandez, 87 overall. Came to Man U mid last year. I feel like he's going to be a good cam, maybe a better center mid only because he has the 77 pace, but a chem style will boost him right up. Conte, 88 overall. He's good. He's always been good. He's probably going to be another stud in the center mid for the Prem. Dybala, 88. Had a good year. Stays the same rating. Tony Cruz, down two, I'm pretty sure. He's just getting old, man. 50, 54 pace. I mean, he's not going to. But another main person I want to talk about right here is Ben Zema. Got upgraded to an 89. And if I rock a French team, he is going to be, he might be my striker and I might boost his pace up with a chem style because last year I used Benzema for four to five months and I loved that card. Absolutely loved it. Now that he's an 89 overall, his informs are going to be insane. And then we have the number one midfielder of FIFA 21 and that is Kevin De Bruyne. 91 overall. This card right here, I feel like is going to be close to 800k. He's going to be an expensive card. And if I ever get the chance to use him, I'm going to use him 100%. And I hope I can because he looks insane. We, we are now on to the final part. The defensemen and the keepers. So we have Kyle Walker. He got an upgrade. In my opinion, he's going to be crazy fast, crazy expensive, but he's going to be the best right back. Everyone is going to have him on their weekend league teams because 92 paces right back, he's going to be a stud, 100%. We have, who else do we got up here? Thiago Silva got an 85, got a massive downgrade, but plays for Chelsea, has potential to get upgraded a little slower, but has potential to be good again if he gets some informs. Um, Varane, 86 overall, stays the same rating. He is going to be, last year, he was the, probably one of the best uh, defensemen in the Liga, BVVA. But he was good, but he was crazy expensive, and he was 250 k for a long time. And now De Gea sadly dropped to an 86, which I really don't understand, but I don't make the ratings, so... We're going to go to the first page here real fast. We have Hummels, 86 overall. PK, 86. Lloris, 87. I think it was an 88 last year, which, again, doesn't make sense to me. But I loved this card last year, and he was a freaking tank at goalie. Robertson, left back, 87. 83 pace is not too shabby. And then we have Laporte, 87. Now, this is one guy I want to talk about, Trent. 87 overall, but he has 80 pace. In my opinion, I would choose Kyle Walker over Trent. 100% only because of the pace, and that is it. Koulibaly, 88 overall, going to be a stud if he likes Syria. Ah, 100%. Handanovic, 88 overall. Anderson, 88. Courtois, 89. Neuer, 89. Sergio Ramos, 89, well-deserved, had a great year. And he's him and Varane next to each other are going to be insane to score against, 100%. Allison, 90. Turis Dagen, 90. By far the best keeper I used last year. I used him a lot, way more than any other goalie, but he was a tank. And then we have Virgil van Dijk right here, 90 overall. Best defenseman, highest defenseman in the game. He's going to be, just like last year, 
he's going to be impossible to go against. 100%. And then the highest rating out of the goalies and defenders is Oblak. Oblak, 91 rating. Well deserved. Had an amazing year. And yeah, that's it. That wraps up the ratings. Well, that's it, guys. I know I didn't talk about every single player from 1 to 100, but I talked about the players that I want to use this FIFA, what players got a huge upgrade, and what players that I think are going to be good for you guys to use as well. And like I said, I have a green screen coming in this week, and I'm going to set it up, get it all ready, make sure it works good for the launch of FIFA. I'm going to start my first ever Road to Glory. Never done one before. I'm very excited to do it. And... If you like this video, drop a like and subscribe because I'm going to be posting every single day starting October 6th. Thank you. Peace.